What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here with my Plymouth Prowler. And one of the hardest things to do maintenance-wise on the Prowler is actually one of the easiest things to do on every other car, and that is to change the air filter. And the reason that is so difficult is the air filter is actually right about here uh, between the firewall and the engine. <laughs> so. I wanna see if I can do it because I don't know that this air filter has ever been changed and probably needs to be. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start by taking off the fender. Now, as I mentioned, first things first, you gotta remove these three bolts right there, 10 millimeter socket will do it. So let's get these out. All right, so now that I got the bolts out, you can kind of peel back the fender here and you have these like quarter inch aluminum spacers. Yours may be different, but they use those to kind of space everything up. So don't lose those. Uh, I would keep them where they are if you can, but you certainly don't want to drop them or drop them into the engine compartment and not get them out. Uh, then to get the fender out, you just actually lift it straight up, essentially. There are two little tabs at the bottom that just come right out. And then, as you can see there, the, you just unscrew the back socket with the light bulb on the turn signal, and then you can pull it out. All right, so with the fender off, we can see the air box. You can see the intake trumpet right there. It's on this side, and looks like you can kind of pull that off. If I zoom out here, you can kind of see where it is next to the body control module. I do have the car jacked up because I'm not sure if I need to get underneath it to reach anything, but it's if I need to, it's going to be a lot easier to do it while the car is up. It's not going to be easy. Now, what I was going to show you here is on this side, kind of on the forward side of the box, you have a couple of little metal clips, two of them which kind of are just pressure clips and you can pop off. On this side of the, the, the box are, the, the, or the lid and the box are connected with like tabs that slide into slots. All right, so getting at the air box underneath the car is a lot easier in terms of being able to access the clips. Here you can see them, I've got them pulled away. And now there are just tabs. So there are, I think, tabs on this box and then slots on the, the other part of the clamshell here. And so what I've done is I've pulled away this top portion from this edge that was held on by clamps. Now I think I have to push it towards the back to get those tabs out of the clips. And that'll let me kind of pry this top cover away enough to pull out the air filter that's in there right now. So let's give it a try. Let me kind of push this back. See if I can get it, those clips, kind of push it back, back towards the back of the car and get those clips out and then open it up. Now that I've got all those tabs out of those slots back there, it's actually a little bit easier that I, that I took off the fender, now realizing you actually don't have to do that, but to kind of push on the air filter to kind of separate that cover and then to kind of push it down makes it a little easier to get to it underneath. Now the other thing I will say is, despite how small that kind of intake uh, trumpet is, I will tell you right now, there's a lot of crap in here. So I'm glad I'm doing it. And as you can see there, the filter in there is disgusting. So let's keep pulling. Let's keep working it. All right, guys, holy monkey butt. Finally got the filter out. I will show you here that uh, there was a bunch of other stuff in that filter box. No shortage of leaves and whatnot. So it's a great idea to clean that sucker out. And as you can see, I think this is actually the original filter that was in this car. That is just absolutely filthy. Here's the new one from Spectre Performance that I'm gonna put in. And I will say that you probably don't need to take off the fender in retrospect, but it certainly was helpful in cleaning out that box. And it was also helpful to make sure that I was getting those tabs disconnected. It's also gonna be helpful for getting those tabs lined up again when I'm putting this thing back together. So uh, you really have to kind of rip the filter out. But I will say for those of you that are familiar with going to Jiffy Lube and having them pull out your air filter and telling you that you need a replacement, uh, if you take your prowler there, they are never going to do that <laughs> because they will be like, I can't get this thing out and I'm not going to have them not tell me to uh, replace it and then have to put this thing back in. This is a pain in the butt. You definitely want access to underneath your car though. You do not want to do it through the side. Uh, being underneath is the key. So let's get this one back in and then the box reassembled. <laughs> All right, guys. So finally got everything put back together. Getting these tabs lined up on this side 
and in it just takes a lot of kind of compressing the box like i said having the fender off actually is nice because i can put one hand on the outside of the car here and push in a, on the air box while putting my other hand behind it on the other part of the clamshell and squeezing them together you really have to kind of not manhandle it but you have to put a lot of pressure and it's a little awkward to do it and then uh you want to make sure that filter's in there seated completely otherwise those clamps just won't go together but as you can see you can see my brand new filter in there and looks much better and i've got a least two handfuls of leaves that are no longer in there either so uh, now it's pretty easy i just take the, the intake tube here and press it back on put it back in the foam and then put my fender back on the car so uh replacing the air filter on the plymouth prowler is a pain in the butt two key things you want to have it off the ground because you want to have access underneath it and then lastly you want to do it once only in a great while make sure it's worthwhile peter von panda out